You want to cut it down to the death. Like two, 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 three, uh, three, and a half. Gotcha. Yeah, just... Yeah, that's it. Yo, so to kick this video off, I'm gonna go in using my gold comb. I need to lift this hair as much as possible. I need to get it ready to get cut straight through. It's been two long months. Let's get to it. My first step is to go in with my number two guard, and I basically want to cut with the grain. I want to do nice, clean strokes. This client has a nice, nice, nice grade of hair, and you just want to make sure that you don't put no holes, no gaps, no spaces in his haircut. You want to ensure that you're getting it all down to that one desired length, taking your time, and just making sure that this hair is complete straight. You guys can see the strokes are super clean i'm making sure that everything is perfect i'm gonna give a huge shout out to my boy the only leaf of the beats right here him and germ work together a lot and i just thought this was a hard 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 beat that he sent so shout out to only one lee this boy is nice with it y'all gonna get a little bit of his flavor y'all know y'all gonna always get germ on my channel like germ created you know the beam sound so you know we just putting it together mixing and matching different producers that can just you know complement each other and you know do some dope things for the channel so again big shout out to only one lee right here i want to go in and i want to cut the pattern in this direction that the hair grows as you guys see i'm transitioning turning my clippers in different directions just to ensure that i can cut this crown area and ensure that i get it down to a desired length as well My next step, I want to start the neck taper. I go up about an inch using my Babeless FX's. I'm creating my first initial guideline, a first initial ball line. And I just want to ensure and make sure that I can clear this panel all the way out. I want to lift this side just a little bit more just because it's slanted a tad bit. But I just want to lift this side a little bit more. My next step is to go in with a number two guard completely closed and I just basically want to create some transition room. I want to clear some of this room. My client told me like with the taper, he just want me to go up to his highest line, which is the do-rag line. And you guys can kind of still see that indentation in his hair. So I just want to take my time. I want to make sure that I get a lot of this hair down to that one length, oh, yeah, just keeping everything consistent. Fine. My next step is completely closed using my wall 1919s and I'm going up a fourth of an inch. I'm just keeping everything consistent as possible, ensuring that I'm able to get a nice transition. I'm halfway here as you guys see me hit the lever and push it halfway and I'm just steady going up, steady create more transition, keeping everything consistent as possible, brushing one and fade one. I'm getting the strokes down pack and that's exactly what it's supposed to be when you in the shop, man. You take your time and I'm fully open now and I'm just basically bringing this transition higher and as you guys can see I'm using one hand to basically stretch the skin area while also being able to fade a little bit of this hair I just want to ensure that the transition gonna be dope now with a 1 16th guard completely closed and I'm hitting the bottom of this as well now and with a halfway closed here I'm just going up in a transition to fully close again because I'm going to hit towards the bottom of that taper area and just using the hilt of my blade creating soft transitions but also just making the hair fade all the way through the teeth and I just want to make sure that that transition is going to be there regardless and as you guys can see nice taper is coming together really well the taper also complements his hairstyle. It also complements the hair grade. 
He had a super nice texture, super soft gray to hair. So this is this is real clean right here. Now as you guys see me lean his head down, <sighs> clean. My next step is to go in with my Babeless FX's on the roundabout and on the curve. And I just want to basically create a nice clean ball line, prepping myself for oh, more yeah, transition. Just hard. One and a half guard, and I'm going up about an inch, and I just want to clip most of this panel because with a waiver, you always want to be able to set guidelines, but also you want the fade transition to sit low. My next step is completely open, giving myself a full inch, and I'm gonna blow most of this panel out. Now I'm going halfway here because I want to down fade opposed to fade up. I want to preserve as much bulk as possible because you know, on the side right here, you're starting to see those waves and you don't really want to cut into those. And now fully closed, and as you guys can see, super clean. Next step, one eighth guard, and my one eighth guard is completely closed, and I want to nudge at it, and now completely open, and I'm just basically flicking towards that bottom wave, and I just want to create a nice transition, but still give it a nice, 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 clean, clean taper. That's one thing I noticed. The more blue out the taper is, the more nicer it looks. A low taper is cool, but low tapers don't last at all, and low tapers literally have no real transition to them. So as you guys can see, I'm using the corner of my two teeth for my blade, not using a complete flat blade, taking my time, creating a nice transition. Oh yeah, Lee, this hard. Super fire. Now with a one and a half guard, just cleaning up most of like, you know, these kinks, getting everything knocked out the way. And as you guys can see, I'm behind the ear, in front of the ear, complimenting the waves, brushing it, and voila a clean taper and on this side you guys can basically just follow steps based on what I did on the other side I just want to tap in with a couple of you guys minds and mindsets just what we at in 2021 I just want y'all to understand and know that it takes more courage to love somebody unconditionally after they hurt you than to harbor any resentment or hold a grudge and I just want y'all to really think and sit on that it can be any family thing it can be relationship based it could be whatever it is realistically it takes way more courage to love somebody unconditionally conditionally after they hurt you than to harbor that resentment and i just want y'all to understand like go in and you know always have good intentions in every scenario every situation every relationship it is you know be a good person do right by people remain humble through every situation keep your head up and through and through try your best because that's the only thing that people gonna see no matter who you tapped in with who you locked in with what the scenario about people can always read your impression Impressions, your intentions people will know if you good people and by the end of every situation or at the end of any relationship or friendship or whatever it is you want everybody to walk away and say you know what beam was a perfect guy beam was actually a good guy and that's just what you want people to be like you need to leave that impression on people and put it back in this universe because you know a lot of people are too scared you know to approach situations with real life feelings and real life good intentions My next step is to go in using my M spritz. I want to spray around the edges. I want to make sure and ensure that I bring everything for and prep it for a dope, dope, dope lineup. My next step is to go in with my Andes Masters completely closed. I'm floating over the hair. I want to make sure I get all this hair down to its true desired length, but I want to clean all these roach legs up, all of these squiggly legs, whatever you want to call them. The hairs that stick up, you know, that stop the haircut from being super, super gray. You know, in any case, this is one of the most important things you can do with a waver throughout a waver haircut is ensure that you clean the top of the hair up and just keep everything consistent and make sure it is as smooth as possible and as you guys can see them waves is popping out super 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 crazy everything look like it's pulled for it's prepped so we go in using our babyless fx's doing our straighter rates and our slants and as soon as i get to the tip of the ear convert it to the corner of my blade working myself all the way around that corner not cleaning up this area keeping everything consistent as possible 
If you liking this video, man, please like, share, subscribe, comment, hit that notification button. It's getting crazy. So I just repeat the same steps on this side, keeping everything straight as possible. Then as soon as I get to the tip of the ear, I work myself all the way around the corner using the tip of my clippers, keeping it super consistent. And now, pressing in the middle, setting my first indentation line, now working myself all the way to the left. And as you guys can see, when working yourself to the left with so much overhang with a waver, sometimes it look like you might have to draw the line up. Just take your time, tap piece by piece, and just let it come naturally. And as you guys can see, I'm starting to put some type of line. I'm starting to give his haircut some type of figure, some type of shape. And as you guys can see here, I'm doing a vertical bar now, which is super important. It's light, and that's one thing I'm noticing about his hair. His hair is super dense, but around the lineup, it's light. It's not that he's losing his hair. He's he just lighter around his edges than he is, you know, density-wise everywhere else. It would have been no way to preserve both because his hair was cut down to a two, and this is how light it is around the lineup. I don't cut the lineup lower than anything. You know, it's just lighter around the lineup than it is, you know, anywhere else throughout the hair. So you got to learn how to cut through that. You got to learn how to keep everything consistent. You got to learn how to give the sharpest, most natural, line up with their natural line up before using any additives and any haircut keeping it super consistent and letting it come to me naturally and as you guys can see hitting this curve the chicago c using the tip of my blade just keeping it consistent i got one hand planted on this head and then that's how you know we bring it all the way together now I want to go in using my boy Sean Cuts Hair Color Enhancement Card Using my product, the Beam Team Coilers Compressor And my second product, No Drip And I'm just basically spraying at a forward distance And I just basically want to be able to spray color I want to liven up his lineup some And I'm using a dark brown color So I want to use a more natural color Bringing more of the lineup out Giving it a pop, giving it some flood Giving it some sauce, y'all know what I do This is how you make more money behind the chair Everybody in my comment section cry about a hundred dollars but when you add additives this is how you get paid more when a barber can't physically make more money behind a chair what do you do you add services and products and in a case like this this is where you add services to help boost you know the price or boost your revenue behind a chair so i'm in with my barber magic pencil now and i'm basically you know just putting nice clean thin lines out i want to create some contrast i want to concealers line up and take it to the next level my next step is to go in with my Babeless FX's and I want to hit this line and as you see the line is disappearing but it's creating a nice contrasted look it's giving it some sauce some fluff some pop like I'm in my duffel right now and I feel that and I just think this is super dope it's a fire beat the haircut coming together really 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 good and man it's a session today if you guys is able to stick through this video I am superly appreciative that I'm able to educate people around the world that I've never come in contact with and just get y'all G and gems with how I do my thing I just think it's super dope I appreciate y'all for just watching all the way through these videos it's super dope it means so much to me and right now I basically lean my client back angle my razor at a 45 degree angle bringing everything back to his natural lineup going with the grain across the grain against the grain and just you know applying as much pressure as possible and giving him the cleanest sharpest lineup he's ever seen that's one thing that's gonna happen when you sit and beam chat i'm gonna get icy i'm gonna get real oh, yeah. precise and it's gonna look real crazy when you get out my chat i'm literally an exotic barber like that's exactly what i am i'm an artist this is what i do at the top of the mustache bringing it all the way together so in the imperfect world we do get clients that come in after two months looking crazy by the head but i told y'all it's barbers it's up to us to change that outcome and on my channel i'm only gonna give it up one way so let's lock in Hashtag TBT in that comment section Hashtag Glacier Gang Y'all know what time it is We in that duffel this year I'm not slowing down for nobody I didn't slow down Corona I'm not slowing down 2021 Y'all getting videos weekly Every Wednesday anywhere from 10 to 12 p.m. I'm super locked in I'm super focused If you was able to make it through this 15 to 16 minute video I appreciate you so much Please like, share, subscribe And may God bless